So hi there students, welcome back again to another video lesson for grade 7 mathematics quarter 4. So we are now done discussing measures of variability up on group data. So saan sinod natin yung range, average deviation, uh, variance, and standard deviation. So for, the, for this video lesson, we will be discussing uh, measures of variability of group data. So first on the list is average deviation of group data. So again, average deviation or mean deviations are the same. So for our lesson objective, we will calculate the measures of variability of group data, specifically average deviation. So again, to discuss what is average deviation, so average deviation or also known as mean deviation uh, is calculated to determine how far all values in a distribution from the mean. So dito, tinitignan natin kung gaano kalayo yung individual scores dun sa mean. Okay. So since group data ang pinag-uusapan natin, ito po ang kanyang formula. So, average deviation is equal to summation of uh, the product of the frequency and the absolute difference of the midpoint and the mean all over n. So, yung mga variables na nakikita nyo po dyan, so, x sub m represents the class mark. So, class mark is uh, what we call the midpoint. So, ina-add natin yung lower class at upper class limits and then divide it by 2. And then, x bar, that is the mean, okay, the average. And then, n is the number of observations or uh, the frequency, num uh, total number of frequency. So, yung f po dyan stands for the frequency of each class. So, let us now discuss the steps in calculating the average deviation of group data. Okay. So, the first step, so add columns for x sub m or the class mark, f x sub m, that is the product of the frequency and class mark, and then the absolute value difference of the class mark and mean, and finally, uh, the product of the frequency and the absolute value difference of the class mark and mean. Okay, so yun po yung mga yellow na nakikita nyo dyan. So para lang alam nyo kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng mga yan, yung mga variables na yan. So, second step, calculate the mean and fill in the columns for uh, the absolute value difference of the class mark in mean tsaka yung uh, product of the frequency and the absolute value difference of the class mark and mean. So, yung first step na kailangan natin dyan, syempre, is yung i-calculate natin yung mean. Kasi wala tayong isusubtract dun sa class mark unless meron tayong average or yung mean. And then, calculate the average deviation. So, once na, na fill in na natin, uh, fill out na natin yung mga columns ng mga proper value, correct values, that is the time that we will be applying the formula. And then, we, will be we would be able to uh, determine the average deviation. Okay, so kung ano yung pinakagitnang uh, value na kung saan, uh, makikita natin kung gaano kalayo yung mga values dun sa ating mean. So, let us have an example. So, the table below shows the height in centimeters of 40 students of grade 7 Sampagita. So, find the average deviation. So, for this problem, we are talking about height. So, kung gaano katangkad, gaano kaliit ang isang sudyante. Okay, so, yung ating students ay galing sa grade 7 Sampagita. Okay, so, on the first column, you will see there yung height in centimeter. So, yan. We're in uh, 155 yung highest uh, possible na height ng isang grade 7 student dun sa 40 students na yan. And then, 121 naman yung pinaka uh, mababa. Okay, so, i-discuss na lang natin dito yung range. So, kung kukunin natin yung range sa group data, so, range is equal to upper boundary minus lower boundary. Okay, so yung upper boundary natin dito is yung 
eto, mag a tayo ng 0.5 sa kanya. So, magiging 155.5. And then, yung lower boundary natin, magsusubtract tayo ng 0.5 sa 121. And that will become 120.5. So, subtract natin yon Ang makukuha nating sagot is 35. So, ganyan kalalayo yung uh, height. Ganyan kalalayo yung height ng pinakamatangkad sa pinakamaliit out of the 40 students. So, ganyan po ang range of group data. So, mag a tayo ng apat na columns. So, kasi yan ang kinakailangan natin. And then, i-fill out natin yung first two columns na in natin. Yung class mark, tsaka yung product ng frequency and uh, class mark. So, dito sa X sub N, na yung tinatawag nating midpoint or class mark, so, i-add lang po natin yung 151, yung pinakamababa, tsaka yung 155. And then, yung nakuha nating sum is i-divide lang natin by 2. So, 151 plus 155 will have 306. And then, divided by 2 will get 153. So, kapag yung numbers natin, yung class natin, yung interval niya is uh, odd number, yung pinakagitna agad. Yun ang ating kukunin. And then, yung class interval natin, which is 5, isusubtract natin yun sa 153 pababa. Yun ang pinakamadaling technique. So, 153 minus 5 will get 148. Then, 143, 138, 133, 128, and then 123. Next! Dito naman sa column ng uh, product ng frequency and then yung midpoint. So, i-multiply lang po natin yung frequency and uh, class mark. So, parang uh, kung paano natin i-compute yung mean. Kasi yun ang una natin kukunin dyan. So, ganyan. Kailangan makuha natin yung product ng frequency and then yung midpoint. 6 times 153, that is 918. And then, next, 11 times 148, that is 1,628. 7 times 143 will have 931. 3 times 138, that is 414. 1 times 333, that is 133. 8 times 128 will have 1,024. And finally, 4 times 123 will have 492. Okay. So, dapat, dyan pa lang po sa class mark, tama na. Kasi, once na mali na po yung class mark, automatically yung product ng frequency and class mark, mali na agad. And then, kunin natin yung summation. So, add lang natin yung mga Nakuha natin dyan. So, 918 plus 1,628 plus 931 plus 414 plus 133 plus 1,024 plus 492. So, yung sum natin is 5,540. Okay. So, next. Calculate the mean using the formula. So, x bar, or that is mean, is equal to summation of the product of the frequency in uh, the class mark all over n. Okay. So, sulat lang natin yung ating uh, interval, which is 5. And then, yung summation na nakuha natin is 5,500. 40. Now, we will calculate for the mean. So, yung nakuha natin uh, summation is 5,540. I-divide natin sa 40. So, yung mean natin, kapag dinivide natin yung 5,540 sa 40, is 
0.5. Now, fill in the columns. So, yung natitira nating dalawang column. So, kailangan i-fill out natin yan. So, yung nakuha nating mean kanina is 138.5. Okay, so yung nakuha natin class mark, tsaka yung nakuha natin mean, ipag, ipagsusubtract natin yan. And then, kukunin natin yung absolute value. Okay, so ibig sabihin, wala tayong makukuhang negative dito kasi absolute value nga. So first, 153 minus 138.5. And that is... 14.5 and then the absolute value of 14.5 is 14.5 next 148 minus 138.5 that is 9.5 143 minus 138.5 will have 4.5 138 minus 138.5, that is negative 0.5. Since negative siya, kunin natin absolute value, it will become 0.5. Next, 133 minus 138.5, that is negative 5.5. The absolute value of negative 0.5 is 5.5. Next, 128 minus 138.5 is negative 10.5. The absolute value of negative 10.5 is 10.5. And then, finally, 123 minus 138.5, that is negative 15.5. And the absolute value of 15.5 Negative 15.5 is positive 15.5. So, ayan na po. Doon na po tayo sa last column. So, sa last column, imumultiply lang natin yung nakuha nating absolute value difference doon sa frequency. So, first, 6 times 14.5. So, yung 6, ito po siya, yung frequency. Imumultiply po natin dito. Okay. So, that is 87. Next, 11 times 9.5, that is 104.5. Next, 4.5 times 7, that is 31.5. 3 times 0 0.5, will have 1.5. 1 times 0.5, that is 5.5. 8 times 10.5, will have 84. And then finally, 4 times 15.5 will have 62. Okay, next. So, yung last column natin, i-add lang natin. Kunin natin yung summation. Okay. Okay. So, that is 87 plus 104.5 plus 31.5 plus 1.5 plus 5.5 plus 84 plus 62 will have a sum of 376. Now, we will calculate the average deviation using the formula. Okay. So, yung nakuha natin sa summation kanina is 376. And then, yung N natin is 40. So, kapag yung 376, dinibide yan natin sa 40, ang quotient na makukuha natin is 9.4. So, yun yung pinaka-average na layo ng mga height ng 40 students. 9.4 So, for the next video lesson, 
we will be calculating the measures of variability of group data, specifically variance and standard deviation. So I have meant, as I mentioned on the video lesson of variance and standard deviation, partner talaga yung dalawa na yan. It's because kapag kinuha natin yung square root ng variance, makukuha natin yung value ng standard deviation. Okay. So if you have any questions, comment down below. So yun lang. Maraming salamat.